number 11. Um, this is another limit question that turns out to be a definition of derivative. I hope you're getting used to recognizing them. Um, the first thing that should kind of cue you off is that we've got a function, the 2 over root x plus 4, minus some number. Um, that's kind of the general form that we see with these types of problems. Second thing that should kind of tr trigger you to realize this is that um, who would write root 4 underneath of a 2? They would just write 2 over 2, which is 1. So they're trying to give you a hint here as to um, the relationship between these two fractions that are being subtracted in the top of the fraction. So, um, if this 3 was not here, then it would fit our definition of derivative perfectly. Unfortunately, that 3 is there. So what I'm going to say is without the 3 in the bottom, it would be uh, f prime of x at a point at, I'll just call it c. Um, so where f of x would be equal to um, 2 over root x, and um, c would be equal to 4. And what I'm looking for is f prime of c at that 4. Um, so what I'm going to do is calculate that and then divide by the 3 at the end. So uh, that, that's the most tricky part of this particular problem. So go to purple. Um, I need to find, so I need to find, need, need to find um, f prime of 4 for this function. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna multiply by one third because that's what this is. It's one third. This this blue stuff is one third of that definition of derivative. Anyway, so f of x is this. I can write that as um, f of x equals two times x to the negative one half using powers. Um, then I can derive that easily. f prime of x is equal to, I get negative one-half the power times negative two, so that's positive one. Um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm missing my own writing because I'm on this thing. It's an equal sign, that's not minus. So I've got a negative one-half times a two, which gives me a negative negative. 1 times x, and now I need to reduce this power by a total of 1. So as I go down 1 from minus 1 half, I'm at minus 3 halves. Um, from there, um, I can do f prime of 4, which is negative 1 over x, oops, over... Uh, 4, whoops, pen, 4 to the 3 over 2, which I know, and you need to know, that 4 to the 3 over 2 is square root of 4 cubed. So square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8. So it's 1 over 8, but it's negative. Now I need to take care of this piece. I need to multiply by 1 third. So my answer is equal to... Um, negative 1 over 8 times 1 over 3, which is negative 1 over 24.